It should have been good enough. Your time as a CB, you were not in UDT and you were never a SEAL. And you can't remember your training class number? Bullshit. Bullshit. been a terribly long day dealing with these guys. I'm just shaking. I'm so goddamn mad. And now I got to get on the phone and call that VFW and talk to that post commander and go straight up his fucking nose about that clown. And I hope that they take measures to kick his and sorry ass out of that thing. Because he is a total clown. Yeah. I'm sorry, I understand yeah, you do it. some stuff with the uh, Civil Air Patrol, uh, Steve. Oh, yeah. Great I organization. Got, uh, I got to go back down Wednesday because I got those certificates that they, they didn't give me. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Yeah. If you volunteer and take the time like that with those young guys out there, it means, uh, means a lot. Oh, yeah. You were a uh, retired yeah. SEAL? Maybe, well, CB, UDT. And then went in the field. I had to. I was UDT. When I went to CBs, I also was UDT. I do what demolition. But uh, then later on, a couple years later, they changed it to seals. Kennedy seals. So from uh, the CBs had a UDT program or something? No, they needed people for, uh, to do uh, seawalks. No. So they had divers, but I was also. Uh, CD first because I was an equipment operator and a, uh, a builder. And I had the experience on the service as uh, a diver. Yeah, fantastic. So I put in, put in for UDT, went through the training, stayed connected with the CDs for 20 years, as well as still being a uh, SEAL later on, and I had 11 years with SEALs. Fantastic, fantastic. Vietnam vet. Vietnam? I was mostly on uh, the West Coast, yeah. Vietnam. I was mostly on the West Coast. Oh, fantastic. Really? Sure you got some hair-raising stories uh, from over there. Yeah, well, a lot of me can't talk about, so... <laughs> yeah, the classified stuff. Fantastic. Hey, uh, Steve, would there be any reason yeah. why I would not have found your name listed as ever being a Navy SEAL? Yes. Why is that? Because we're special teams. Oh, classified we special again. teams. And you're flying in more with the CDs than you will with that. See, yeah. When they first started, they were not had the teams like they have now. When they first started, it was because uh, I was connected with the CDs. I did different things, and I wasn't in a regular team. And what team was that? I was like, huh? What team would that have been? That was, that was 1972, 70. Uh, five. What uh, team was and, that? Huh? huh? What team was that? Let me go. Let me go the other. Hold on. Let me go my other one. Okay. Let's put the ears there. TV is on. Yeah. Sorry. What the? What team was that? Well, no. See, we were. I just. What well, light did? Besides being that. Well, they would send us certain places. We were not uh, where the guy, he, in other words, when the group went to Ben Laden, uh, who killed them, he wasn't supposed to write that letter to those sort of book yet. But they did. And we used to go and do certain, uh, certain things, specials. We, because um, we, I went to about 12 other countries. Oh, God. I was there for like two, three days. And left. Oh my! Sounds like you yeah. stayed busy. Did you retire from the Navy? I retired from the Navy after 31 years. Oh, fantastic! 31. What was your rank when you retired? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I went in the construction. Yeah. When I came out. Uh, Master Chief or an officer or something like that. Yeah, a senior. Oh, fantastic! 31 great years. Fantastic. Hey, uh, what? Again, I got up. I got out twice and went back in. Twice. 
What was your uh, training class number? Do you recall that? I'll look it up and let you know. You don't remember? It's not offhand. I think it was uh, three. Three? Yeah. No. Oh. Class three would have graduated. Huh? Class three would have graduated in about 1948. I don't see well, how. Right, yeah, we should. Yeah. The, the problem, uh, Steve, is uh, I have yeah. access to this SEAL database. I'm a retired SEAL myself, yeah. widely known on the Internet, and I didn't see a listing of you in that SEAL database as ever being a Navy SEAL. Well, I only got the awards, and I got the uh, paperwork. Uh, I don't know. Uh, your classified stuff, you don't remember a BUDS class? I know when I went through oh, it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not saying. I, I got to look at it. It's been so long. Ah. It's been so long. Well, I still don't see how that's possible because, you know, I screamed my class every day at the top of my lung uh, for six months. I'd forget my mother's name before I'd forget what training yeah, but class not, but, Yeah, I know that, but the whole thing is, too, I was, when I came out, because I've got Agent Orange and Dennis Principal, and I've got a bad case of PTSD. From all the, I don't think about any of that stuff that went on. From all the SEAL oh, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I got a real problem with you standing up in front of those kids, uh, telling them those bullshit stories about you being a SEAL. It wasn't bullshit. It, wasn't bullshit. it is bullshit, sir. I don't, it's I don't absolute bullshit. No, I'm not. I'll tell you what. When I come down Wednesday to Amazon to them, I'll give you all the information you want. I'll bring it with me. No, I don't think that'll be uh, necessary, sir. Does everybody at that VFW believe you to be a Navy SEAL? It's all my paperwork. Whatever you feel, sir. I have some paperwork. I don't bring, I don't bring it up. The kids ask me what I did, what I was in, and that was it. I don't bring it up. The kids ask me, well, you're a uh, commander there, or the kid, young kid, ask what and I let them know. Otherwise, I don't even bring a lot of that stuff up. I just found your Facebook page. You're wearing some pretty obnoxious seal hats and a seal trident. Not on me. Not, Not on, on you? Mine, I don't I use a Facebook. I got a Facebook page for somebody put in there, but I do not even go for it. Yeah, I didn't see it being very active, but you know the hats I'm talking about. What hats? A uh, big seal trident you know, hat, wear, big obnoxious the only one. Hat, the only hat I wear is the one someone gave me, see? A Navy SEAL hat. I wear CBS most of the time, and I have one Navy SEAL hat. Yeah, I, I see the. I see the CB insignia on the hat and the SEAL trident right there with it. So. Yeah, you got both things on it. Yeah, pretty easy, sir. You never had a cool. legal name change at all. That's your actual legal name. What do you ask me all these things for? It doesn't make any... Because, sir, I'm a retired SEAL. I have access to the database. If you were a SEAL, okay. you would understand that I we have a, an absolute epidemic of SEAL imposters. You know, I would do the team most of the time. No. There would be a listening of you. Then I did some special things. No. I'm just serious when they change. They will not be changed from the SEALs. From the, uh, UDT, the seals. Sir, I have records that go back. Records that go back to our inception in 1943. If your name was, uh, if you had ever gone through any of that training, underwater demolition or seal training, scouts and raiders, anything, I'd have a record of it. You're not up there. And when you still start telling these stories about Class Four and being in Korea, did you really? Did you really? Nothing. You know what? Did you really tell those guys that you... Oh, you motherfucker, man. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, you motherfucker. This guy over and over again. Apparently his VFW post sent him. 
volunteered or something, but he's come from the VFW post to go speak and award, uh, give out awards to young Civil Air Patrol guys. It's a fantastic organization. Civil Air Patrol, the Sea Cadets, these are young, impressionable, ambitious guys. And you would stand up there and tell them a bunch of fucking lies. And he has gotten away with this for so long. The crazy part, and I have to find a way to do this, to send a letter to all the VFWs and all the American legions and beg them to print it in their monthly books that they go out about the epidemic of SEAL imposters. There is no telling how long this clown has sat in those VFWs down there running his suck about his bullshit in uh, Vietnam being a Navy SEAL and nobody ever questioned it. Really? To the point where you would send them. His name's easy to look up. I saw where he was a CB, an E03. Now, I get it. He's an older guy. I don't know about the 31 years. I'm going to find out, but it should have been good enough. Your time as a CB, you were not in UDT, and you were never a SEAL. And you can't remember your training class number? Bullshit. Bullshit. been a terribly long day dealing with these guys. I'm just shaking. I'm so goddamn mad. And now I got to get on the phone and call that VFW and talk to that post commander and go straight up his fucking nose about that clown. And I hope that they take measures to kick his and sorry ass out of that thing because he is a total clown.